I'm Mike Massimino, and this is Inside the International Space Station. Absolutely no strings attached to Mike. Get out. Uh, to kind of share it uh, with as many people as possible. Streaking across the sky. Uh, we're going to clean it out and air it out. We're here in the Mission Control Center at the Johnson Space Center, and we're going to find out what this crew is up to. We have six crew members uh, on the space station, including two Americans, Ron and Mike. We're going to go speak to them. We're going to find out what they're up to, because there's been a lot of reports in the papers since the space shuttle program ended that the space program was ending. So we're wondering, what are these guys doing, and do they even know that the space program ended? We're going to find out what they're up to. Come on, let's go inside. Well, have people here supporting the crew 24 hours a day. Every day, there's people here. This is in case we get out of control, they're going to hit us with this thing. It says attitude control device, right on. Hey, Ron, it's Mike. How do you hear? This is so cool. I got my buddy right here. Hey, Mike. Good Likewise, to hear your voice. We got you up on the big screen. Uh, you can't see us, though, can you? No, I can't, but I can, I can imagine, uh, imagine you. Here comes Mike. He, uh, he had a clear... My, here comes Mike. He had to clean himself up. He didn't want to scare the children in case there were any, any <laughs> children we, watching. We, can, we might seem like a scary voice. If you just hear the voice, you know, like if we would have played tricks or something like, get out, uh, something like that. Does that, that scare you guys at all? You know, that's funny. That's exactly the way Robonaut sounds sometimes <laughs> in the middle of the night. Is that, is that scary? Is that Robonaut pretty scary to have him on board? Uh, he's been pretty tame so far. We're going to uh, hopefully unleash him in the next week, and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, hey, you know, guys, we really appreciate you spending some time with us. I know you're busy. It's the end of your day. It's very kind of you to, uh, to come and say, uh, let us come and say hi. But we, ha we have some questions. You guys got the news up there, right? Don't you get the news of the shuttle program being over? So the first thing I thought about is, all right, the space program's over. What are you guys doing? Nobody told us it was over. Yeah, we did. We, we were, you know, we do get the news up here, but I guess we missed out on that uh, that tidbit that the space program was over, because, you know, I don't know how, how how we got up here and how we're getting back. So, uh, so um, yeah, we're doing a lot up here. We we've got this amazing complex that we built called the International Space Station. We being the 15 nations of the International Space Station Partnership, and we are conducting uh, experiments uh, in a whole wide range of areas. Uh, that that we really believe are going to make a difference and, and improve. Is there life anything on you Earth? can do to prove to us right now that you're actually in space? I mean, some kind of, do some kind of floaty astronaut trick or something for us? Yeah. So yeah, there's here's there's there's absolutely no strings attached uh, to Mike as far as really I know. Can't even, you can't even have to warn the kids don't try this at home because there's no way they could try that at home. The most fun things that we can do up here is just simply look out the window and and you know when you see these views you're like oh. I wish everybody can see this, so, so you really want to try and take as many pictures as you can, as, many, as much video as you can, uh, to kind of share it uh, with as many people as possible. So that's been a, that's been a, um, you, you know, a big goal of, of ours uh, up here. And you know, we try and take pictures that are a little bit different. We, we don't want to take you know, the same pictures that you can see from satellite imagery. We, we try and um, you know, give, give a different perspective, give a, a different view of, of the planet than you, you'd get just by uh, you know, going on the internet and looking at satellite imagery. Three pictures that I've taken that I, I really was fortunate to get. Uh, I took a lot of photos, but three of them came out uh, really nice. There, uh, one was uh, with Atlantis here, and I was watching a, a night pass, and the aurora was starting to kick up. And so I've got this, the green aurora, kind of snaking on the horizon there with Atlantis hanging on the end of the station. That was a cool one. Uh, another one, the night before she left, the MPLM is is tucked in the payload bay and I got got really lucky and I've got a really nice picture with Atlantis on the end of the station and a lot of stars showing in the sky and the third one was uh, the re-entry the uh, kind of uh, Atlantis looking like a meteor streaking across the sky very inspired by your uh your, your sharing of the images and what you're seeing out the out the window has been pretty cool and so now for for Ron you've got what about another two weeks left on there is that right Two weeks from today, but who's counting? Are you going to miss Ron? Or are you going to keep his room like a kid leaving for college? You're not going to touch his room? Or are you going to move in there? Are you... uh, we're going to clean it out and air it out for sure. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to miss him. We're going to miss him a lot. 
Uh, he's been the the you know, the USOS lead up here. He's been the senior guy. He knows how to how to do everything where everything's located and stuff. And so I've been learning from him. School has started, guys. Right? Uh, yeah. But what are you gonna do about the parent-teacher conference and you know making sure everything's running smoothly with the with the schoolwork? Because I know you guys help the kids with the homework when you're at home. So. Well, mostly for me, I, I encourage my wife, uh, Milani, who is uh, engaging in that arena because, uh, yeah, it's a little hard to get involved with the uh, parent-teacher conferences. If, uh, if things don't get on track here fairly quickly, though, I may threaten to uh, start uh, calling or emailing teachers. That will cause a lot of attention, which uh, my son really won't like. And, you know, we, we I mean, if, if it came down to it, we needed to use the phone to help with homework. We could certainly do that. And I, I actually get the uh, uh, Clear Creek High School football game sent up to me. So I could uh, keep track of things there. So it's a, uh, it's a, you know, again, this is just another way that we stay connected with uh, what's going yeah, we've on. We've got down college football season starting too. I'm sure Mike is uh, raring to go on that. Who are you going to be rooting for this year? <laughs> yeah, he's a big Longhorn fan. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to get that one out to the media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gig him. The, you know, we came in here. There was another downlink going on, and and uh, we're showing some uh, some video of you guys. And did you ever guys get? You ever get? You know, we don't know what really. We can't really see. We just see your video. So I was wondering, did you ever guys get tempted just to do some work and then tape it, and then just replay it over and over again down, and so people think you're working? Is that that's what crossed my mind? Which is probably well, they never let me on the space station. But did you ever guys get tempted to do anything like that? You know, I, we haven't, but that's because we, we're not creative enough to think of that. Now that now that you mention it, we're going to hack into the uh, video downlink. I know to both you guys. I know you guys are tight. It must just be fun to be up there together. Uh, you bet it is. We've been working and training together for like five years uh, to uh, train and fly uh, 124 three years ago. And right after we got home, it seemed like, well, that and a hurricane cleanup for Ronnie. Uh, he started training, and a few months later, I jumped in. And and the fact that he was in the line was uh, that's one of the big reasons I decided to you know to uh, go for it and and uh, and just enjoy the ride together again. So it is you know when you're living like this, you become like family. We're about out of time here. We got just about 30 seconds left of KU. We really appreciate you spending time with us at you know take, cutting into your pre-sleep time. So in the last couple of seconds, though, you've done a great job of describing things. We we'll obviously have people in space. The space program is by no means over. Can you just finish us up with some more astronaut tricks to prove again that you are actually in space? This is not this is not a farce. Have you lost some weight? You see, look at that. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Ron. Ron, we'll see you soon, buddy.